Good morning and welcome to St. John's Liturgy Online. These are our morning prayers for Friday, May the 15th. We will be using the Book of Common Prayer beginning on page 6. If you have a book, you're welcome to follow along. Otherwise, simply hear the prayers and the readings of the day. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Psalm 106. O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is gracious, and his mercy endureth forever. Who can express the noble acts of the Lord, or show forth all his praise? Blessed are they that keep judgment and always do righteousness. Remember me, O Lord, according to the favor that thou bearest unto thy people. O visit me with thy salvation, that I may see the felicity of thy chosen, and rejoice in the gladness of thy people, and give thanks with thine inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers. We have done amiss and dealt wickedly. When our fathers were in Egypt, they regarded not thy wonders. They kept not thy great goodness in remembrance, but were disobedient at the sea, even at the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he helped them for his name's sake, that he might make his power to be known. He rebuked the Red Sea also, and it was dried up, so that he led them through the deep as through a wilderness, and he saved them from the adversary's hand, and delivered them from the hand of the enemy. As for those that troubled them, the waters overwhelmed them. There was not one of them left. Then they believed his words, and sang praise unto him. Deliver us, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the nations, that we may give thanks unto thy holy name, and make our boast of thy praise. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting and world without end. Let all the people say, Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from Paul's second letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 2. We always give thanks to God for you, brothers and sisters beloved by the Lord, because God chose you as the first fruits for salvation through sanctification by the Spirit and through belief in the truth. For this purpose he called you through our proclamation of the good news so that you may obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold fast to the traditions that you were taught by us, either by word of mouth or by our letter. Now, may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and through grace gave us eternal comfort and good hope, comfort your hearts and strengthen them in every good work and word. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. 
he descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. And do thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and evermore mightily defend us. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O Almighty God, who alone canst order the unruly wills and affections of sinful people, grant unto us all that we may love the thing which thou hast commandest, and desire that which thou dost promise that so, among the sundry and manifold changes of this world, our hearts may surely there be fixed, where true joys are to be found, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, Send down upon our bishops and clergy and all congregations committed to their charge the healthful spirit of thy grace. And that we may truly please thee, pour upon us the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, the creator and preserver of all humankind, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of people, that thou wouldst be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving health unto all nations. More especially, we pray for the good estate of the Catholic Church, that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit, that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith in unity of spirit, in the bond of peace, and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are in any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or estate, especially those for whom our prayers are desired this day. That it may please thee to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ his sake. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks. 
for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all people. Particularly, we give you thanks for the gift of faith, for a community that supports us, for all who are working to provide us with essential services and effective health care, and for the leaders of our province and our nation. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.